Okay, so uh, hello everybody. Uh, just working on a repair for uh, Copperdale Titanol Contour Trekking Pole. The problem that we're having here is, uh, this is the good one actually. So this is an uh, expandable joint and I know a lot of people don't like these. They're, they're kind of dated, but part of the reason people don't really like them as much is because these mechanisms sometimes don't work very well. And the problem I'm having here, in fact, these you can get these pieces here. They just slip on there. You can buy new of those. They're still available. And what happens there is as these screw in, got to get this down further so that it's in the notch there. But as these screw in, they cause them to expand and tighten inside the main pole. I know that's really close there, but they tighten inside the main pole. They slide up inside. And so to unscrew them, to loosen it up, to adjust it whatever length you want, you just have to screw them down there a little bit to make them so not expand. So here's the problem I'm having is on this one here, the, the this piece here in the middle here, that piece broke off. They've got There's a metal shaft that goes up inside the middle there, but doesn't go into this part here. And so this cap piece broke off, and so it was not, the, as many as much as we twisted it, it was not adjusting out and expanding so that it would, it, the pole would just constantly slip up inside. It was really frustrating. So I was looking at this, and as I was working on it, trying to figure out some way, because you can't, you can't buy these orange pieces here anymore to replace that. There is a way to take them out and replace those, but you can't buy them anymore. They are not available. They've gone to a newer model. So if you got one of these rather than, you know, if you got one of these and you don't really need to throw it away per se, but as I was working on this, I noticed that, so this is right here is fully retracted in here and there's a gap of about, you know, you can see the gap there of that much. And so as I was looking at this, trying to figure out a way to do this, this should be engaging about right there. And then as you screw it up, that piece in there is supposed to expand it. But of course, like I said, this piece here, and I can take it out and show you. This piece here, uh, where's the camera? It broke off there. Anyway, you can see it. You can't really see the metal shaft. Maybe I can pick this up a little bit here. Metal shaft down in there that broke off. So what I've done here, you can see it a little bit. This right here, the black on here, is actually just some, I trimmed down, cut cut a strip of electrical tape, and then I just cut a really you know, small sliver off the side, cut a length of probably about four inches, and then I wrapped that around. Part of the reason I did that, it, it might seem kind of just jerry-rigging it here, but I found as you put this on that uh, as I screw it up in, it was just short of little triangle piece in there, the expansion part. You can see, let me pull this out again and show you this. Okay, take that out. As you look at this, see here, you can see how it expands up in there with that notch. And that piece was just coming up short. Let me get that up in here. So as you screw it in and you screw it all the way down, it was coming up just a little bit short of that. So it was starting to expand a little bit, but it just was not gripping it enough. But really simply, I found just wrapping a little bit of electrical tape around that piece there, just wrapping that, and I put it on here, and you can see this right here. Just having that little bit more edge in there Gave it started to give it a little because it's a little bit wider that orange piece is a little wider diameter there and so by the time I get this down to the base here screwing that down this the spreader now has expanded enough to tighten within there and that's working without the nut so it doesn't go all the way up in there but it goes up in there enough to push those pieces apart and get an expansion. Another piece, if it's broke down a little bit further, I, I doubt it will because it bro this piece right here is broken down right to the tip of the metal part. And if they had just designed that to go up in there a little further, we wouldn't have the problem with that. But So there's two options here. One, make the top of this a little bit more 
larger in diameter like I did there with the tape make it a little bit larger in diameter so that as, as this top piece gets up in there it expands it it meets into that piece there where it spreads out there it'll meet up into there and start to push that apart another piece another thought you could do is to this orange piece here it's probably going to take a little bit of work or whatever but if you're if you're doing this this way you're probably going to be okay with doing that but you can take an exacto knife or utility knife or something like that and you can trim this down because this is pretty solid in there so if you were just short just a little bit more and you needed to have that push up in there to expand that further you could actually trim this part down or off and that will give you enough that'll certainly if you match that up here to where that would stop right there you can see that this part here is up into this triangle spreader part I'm trying to I don't have a lot of space here anyway man if that thing will just stay still so this anyway you can see the little triangle piece in there and if you have this cut all the way down to here if you trim that down to the pipe you will clearly the tip of this will clearly be up into that triangle thing and, and push it push the spreader apart and so Anyway, I put that on, tested it out, and it, it, this is unbalanced the way it came together here, but that's just the way it worked out in uh, over the years, so that's not a problem there, but it's closed together there, and so I will show you a clip here in just a minute, move my camera, I'll show you a clip here in just a minute, where I'm putting it into the pole, and show you how that works in Titan. Okay, so I've readjusted my camera here. So here's that piece there I was talking about. I have it adjusted out so that this will collapse. So we just shove that in there like that. That's in there. That's the top point there. Now one of the things I do is the top tube for this, the top tube for this tapers as it goes up. And so two tests I want to do. One of them is I want to do at the lower hand here at the very top there so they can expand fully and I'm twisting it now up in there until that expands. So that's twisted tight. I can't twist it anymore. I'm trying really hard. I can't just twist it anymore. And now I'm pushing together really hard pulling apart as hard as I can and that will not come undone so that's that stage there I'm going to untwist it now and because the there's a slight difference in diameter of the pole that it's going into we are going to unscrew that now we're sliding in sliding in all the way up to the basket now that should be at the top of this tube here that's going to have to have full expansion and so we're going to it's a bigger slightly larger diameter tube and so if it catches on the top there then it should then it'll hold so now i've got this in all the way i can't turn that anymore so i'm going to try to pull it apart <clears throat> that does not pull apart obviously it can't shove it anymore because of that so it is clamping now that piece in there is getting up in there far enough to make that expander work and so if you have a problem with the screw inside your Comperdale trekking pole if you have a problem with the screw inside of here where that tips broke off that's a way to this is a way to fix it I don't know how long the table will last in there and just wanted to make sure that it's working. I've done it a couple times and it's not a, if you had to replace the tape, it's not a hard thing to do. If you have duct tape on the trail, if you're trekking, then that's something that will be able to fix that as well. Might be a little bit harder to tear it. That's, that's a fix that seems to be working here for a while. I use the trekking poles for my kids when they're learning to ski so I don't have to keep buying new poles every 
year or two so until they've finished growing they uh, they get trekking poles and so this one broke off and it wasn't working well from one of my kids it kept slipping out so this is a good fix for that seems to be working fine um, and just needed that little bit of extra piece on the end to get it, to get the expansion where it needed to be so that it's working properly so if you're having a problem with that and that screws broke you still got you got some of these laying around or whatnot and you need to repair that that should fix it because again these parts the expansion part they are still available the orange part here and they do come in different sizes but the screws that you stick into this pipe here that have that expansion piece on the end they break off because that metal shaft doesn't go up all the way in and those those screw pieces are not available anymore so there's a fixture for you hopefully it works for you it should i haven't really had any problems with it and if that tape comes off it's an easy replacement there but lasts a while so there you go hope that helps